Hey, I'm really excited about this today. I'm gonna give you my top six Christmas gift items, and one of them may surprise every bass angler. Since we're in the throes of winter, all of my Christmas picks are gonna be for the early spring fishing. And as usual, we can't leave the house in the spring without the suspending rattle and rogue. This is probably one of the most premier cold water jerk baits ever made. It comes in a ton of different colors for every water situation. For my next pick, I'm gonna go with a Norman Speed End. This lure was specifically designed for cold water applications prior to the pre-spawn all the way up to the pre-spawn. It's got a super tight wobble, super tight pitch and roll. This is an outstanding crankbait for cold water spring fishing. And my next pick is the Booyah Hard Knocker. The Hard Knocker has proven itself time and time again in early spring fishing situations. Whether you're yo-yoing it through the grass, burning it over grass, or slow rolling it on rock points, this bait right here is hard to beat in the cold water spring application. Moving on to my fourth pick, I'm going to go with the Bomber 6A. This is one of the premier pre-spawn secondary point type of crankbait. Rip wrap, this is a phenomenal crankbait. It does a ton of work. It comes in a tons of different colors and one of my all time favorite shallow water crankbaits. When you have to fish six to eight feet deep, this is a workhorse. Now <laughs> for my fifth pick, I'm gonna go with the Yum Wacky Tool. Now basically all this is, is an O-ring applicator for rigging any of your uh, soft plastics wacky style. Yum dingers, finesse worms, that sort of thing. But the cool thing about this is, it's very simple to use. You just insert the Yum Dinger like that, slide the O-ring off, boom, it's ready to fish. You can get your hook, Put the hook in it right here and you're good to go. But here's my trick. This is a one O-ring rig. I like to use two O-rings. I cross the O-rings and I put the hook right in the center of the cross and now I'm wacky rigged the perfect way that I like to throw a wacky rig. This application lends itself extremely well to the pre-spawn, spawn and post-spawn era. And now for my final pick and the surprise, I'm gonna go with the Lindy Drift Sock. Probably one of the most overlooked tool in a bass fisherman's arsenal today. I've won over $100,000 employing Drift Socks in my tournament days. The Drift Sock enables you to have a controlled drift over tight, small rock piles, structure breaks, any structural element when the wind blows hard on big lakes, spot lock can only keep you there for so long before your batteries get diminished. The drift sock is the most effective way to fish in big winds. Use it as a control and you can accurately pick apart any structural element. The big surprise about a drift sock is on, the, on big lakes like the Great Lakes, this little tool here could save your life. If you ever run out of power, you throw the drift sock out on your front cleat and it's, the boat position will keep it so the waves don't pound over your boat and it could actually save your life. Hopefully with my six Christmas gift items, I took some of the guesswork out of your holiday shoppings. The cool thing about this is it's all available on LureNet.com. Happy holidays.